Welcome to Module 2 in the Data Management course. This tutorial will cover data types, storage, and backup. An important first step in creating a data management plan is to inventory all of the different types of data that you will need to manage throughout this research project. Usually, researchers think of their observational data or experimental data logs that they will compile from the field and the spreadsheets that they use to manipulate the data. But you may also need to manage supplementary data that you used as reference, such as schematics, weather info, images, or even personal logs. To provide a complete picture of your data, you must bring all of these under your data management plan. Let's hear an example from a civil engineering research librarian. Hi, I'm John Jeffries, the civil engineering librarian here at the University of Minnesota. We're going to look at an example of some managed and archived data that's part of the Network for Earthquake Engineering simulation. If we search their data repository, we can find results like this. Research data conducted by U of M faculty member Kathy French. If we look at this record, we can see that she includes her sensor data and along with it, drawings and material properties. If we click on the drawings link, we'll see that this includes specimens and sensor layouts. It's important as you go through your own data inventory that you consider all the pieces of data that other researchers will need to fully understand your research project. After you've identified all of the data that you'll need to manage, you'll next want to consider where to store the data while you're conducting the study. Along with your local devices, the university offers several available backup and storage options. There are also cloud-based options that may cost additional money. You'll want to think about the benefits and costs of these different storage options for your data. You'll also want to take measures to backup and secure your data. Best practice is to keep at least three copies of your data, one locally or your working copy, a second nearby copy that is stored on a separate device, such as an external hard drive, and third, a copy of your data stored externally to your environment, such as on a remote server to protect against loss in case of a fire or theft. Be sure to test your file recovery options, whichever you choose. Data loss can happen in even the most careful researchers. Consider how valuable your files are. Can they be easily reproduced? At what cost? In a 2009 study that surveyed 780 University of Minnesota researchers, 27% had lost data due to the lack of backup. Now it's time for you to apply this topic to your data management plan. In Section 2, identify all the data you will need to manage. Consider the data logistics. For example, how much data will you collect? How fast will the data grow? How much storage space will you need? Finally, propose a backup plan to assure that you don't encounter any unexpected data loss. After you've completed this section in your data management plan, please continue on to Module 3.